A story in five words. You came back! Oh, thank you. You owe me five bucks, Joe. Story in five words. Biden's Supreme Court term limits. Oh, is, okay, uh, Reagan, I'm going to go to you. <clears throat> Why does this feel like they are that kid who owns the soccer ball and they didn't get picked, so take the ball and go home? They did it, and Biden doesn't have a path to victory, so he's out. They, they don't have the pick, so they want to change the game. Legally, is there any precedent to this? They could just do this? Well, okay, so like everyone else is saying, it would be a very, very hard road to plow. It would be very difficult. It would take a long time. And it's not just something that you can simply do, okay? Um, this is a constitutional issue. I think that this is pandering to extremists on the left. I, you know, I, I mean, I, I say this, and I'm sitting here as an attorney. Most of my colleagues are, they, they want term limits. Um, they're going to be so mad at me for saying this. But I think that the Supreme Court is our most sacred body. And to come out after being in office for nearly four years, and suddenly you want to propose some radical change to one of the most sacred institutions in our nation is incredible. And I don't think that it was Joe Biden's idea. I mean, we have his own words, you know, prior to this. Right, I know, no surprise. Okay. But it's just simply political theater at this point. And it's something that, yes, is a potential. It could happen, whether it would be through the legislature or through a constitutional amendment. But it would be very difficult to do. It's not going to get past Congress. I mean, that's the number one thing that we all need to talk about right now. But if we're going to discuss term limits, let's talk about the fact that an octogenarian who's a career politician is proposing term limits. The right. irony there yeah. is astounding. I mean, <laughs> right? But if, let's not stop there. Let's talk about term limits for everyone across the board. Like, why not? Why not Congress? I mean, then next would be our federal judiciary. No one's going to move for this, and it would be a runaway train. But it's, it's politicized no matter what. These people are human beings, and yes, they're going to have their opinions. But to say 18 years, you, our best justices didn't have their best decisions until later in their tenure. If you start shaking it up, I think it's just going to polarize things more. It will be more political no matter what. It's just a terrible idea. Okay, she said... What? Yeah, yeah. She, <laughs> she said a lot, and some of it I did not get. Can you, <laughs> can you break it down in, in pro-magnum man terms? Yeah, yeah. I man want terms. to agree, but I'm not sure I got insulted at the same time. I just want to make sure. Let's dumb it way down real yes, fast. Can you Let's dumb it down? Yes, me and technology yeah. coming in. Let's bro science this up again. Uh -huh. All right, so I think there's not a day that ends and why that the uh, liberal left wouldn't uh, find an institution and wants to destroy this work for 250 years. So, yeah, yep, there's a pop. There we go. <laughs> Nailed it. And, and you have to think, did Biden, as she said, Biden really proposes the cadaver in chief? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> thank you. Joe Biden did not propose this. He did not dictate the language. He did not write the words. This is just another coup, another attempt to destroy what we've had for so long. And if they do want to put term limits, I agree. Put it on Senate, put it on the House, put it on the dog catcher, put it on the constable, put it on the mayors, put it on the state senators, put it on the governors, put it on late night comedy <laughs> news show hosts. <laughs> term limits yeah. do really require us to come together and get new blood. Mm. Speaking of new blood. <laughs> All right, Joe, we've heard it from the intellectual. Yeah. We've heard it from the meathead. But now, <laughs> the lonely guy. That's me, right? I guess. Yeah, a lot of people are in favor of term limits for all kinds of things. A lot of the women I date encourage the uh, limit <laughs> to that term. Uh, yeah, it is, it is pretty rich that Joe Biden... First of all, he didn't even... He, this was in an op-ed yes. in the New York Times. So that's how he's communicating with the world now, through letters to the editor. Pretty soon, it's just going to be a series of blinks and taps, that's all he has for us. Uh, yeah, I think, I, don't, I, I like the idea of term limits, but I kind of want old Supreme Court justices. I don't want anybody new. I want someone who under that robe, they're dead from the waist down. I don't want them, I don't want a oh, wordy that, justice well, saying. That is an amazing point, because yeah. when a man is dead from the waist down, he can think clearly. He thinks about so much other stuff. I don't Retention. want someone saying. Yes. Retention. 
Yes. Semen retention. I don't want someone to make a decision, you know, and they say, oh, if, if this decision works, maybe it'll get me laid. I, I, I don't want that. No, you at want. All. Now, this After is why. This decision, I'm going to fix the, the <laughs> lawnmower. Yeah. Well, this is why I think Biden is doing this because it, it's part of the reason why he hasn't stepped down. He needs to stay in. Correct me if I'm wrong on this. He needs to stay in office to get his pardons, no matter who gets elected president. Right. So he can pardon his son, and he can pardon what other members in his, ooh, conspiracy theory, crime family. And he can't do that if he's not in office. So they're going to keep him alive in whatever Ziploc bag full of liquid nutrients they have <laughs> sustaining him. Kat, as our resident expert on the Constitution, Please, the floor is yours. No, I frequently seem to find myself knowing more about founding principles than the people who run our government to the point <laughs> that it's quite disturbing to me, actually. Because the, the lifetime appointments for Supreme Court justices wasn't just, like, on a whim. It wasn't just like, we haven't done a lifetime one yet. Let's, like, <laughs> let's, like, try that for these guys. It was supposed to be that way because they weren't supposed to be left up to the whims of, oh, okay, if I... I think this is the right decision, but then what am I going to do after? What's going to happen to my career after that? They were supposed to be focused on reading the law as they see the law itself without having to worry about their future employability or political concerns or anything like that. So this is by design. Ah. I don't know about everyone, but I feel smarter. <laughs> Before we go, make sure you... Go see Kat on her national book tour. She'll be in California, Washington, Florida, Idaho, and all over. Go to therealcattemp.com for more information. And here's Gene and Kevin. Take it away, fellas. Nancy's executive squirm because of name sounds like an antiquated term. Click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You won't get it anywhere else.